Tervist Pöffihundid, olete taaskord Pöffi TV Lainel ja minuga on siin stuudios filmi rüüstatud režissöör René Panevis ja peaosadeid ja Charlie Palmer Rothwell, kellega hakkame kohe rääkima. Chance that I'm doing it now. Mate, not the money. It's just off the list. Are you stupid not to do that? They'll be in and out, mate. So Guys, welcome to Estonia and Tallinn. Yeah. Thank you very much. How are you much. doing? Thanks. Very good. You very just good. came from Warsaw. I, I came from Budapest, but I fly Budapest. via Warsaw. What were you doing there? I was shooting. <laughs> oh, uh, yeah. so what yeah. Uh Yeah, so I, it's a, a series. Uh, okay, yeah, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Sci-fi thing. So it's your world premiere today. It is. That's pretty exciting. Yeah, yeah of course. I thought that that's... Always your your for the first film, first feature film. Yeah, that's a very big moment, of course. Yeah. Your 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 premiere uh, role. Yeah, exactly. That that's yeah. that's where you're doing it for as well. So um, how did and you hopefully it will? You yeah. Know. How did you find your way to Buff or Black Knight Film Festival? Like, how did? How do I? How, do, how, how, how did you, my experience? How, or how no. did this film came to be here to be um, premiered? Yeah, I mean. I, my two producers, uh, Jennifer and Jesse, they have a festival strategy, uh, which is with part with the BFI and BBC Films. We're all we're all communicating uh, together, and they um, they told me that they really wanted to send it to Tallinn. It's a big uh, big festival, and they thought that the film would fit for Tallinn. Uh, I, I, to be to be fair, I didn't know about Tallinn. Uh, I'm from Rotterdam. I was like a Rotterdam film festival. I know. Tannen was for me. I was not aware of Tannen, and then um, um, looked into it a little bit, and uh, it's it's a great festival. It's it's it, it, yeah. It's a, not only the cinema screens, but uh, the, the the town itself. You, you can walk everywhere. Um, of obviously, the culture is a little bit different than I'm used to, so it's great. I just saw the cinema. It's pretty cool, isn't it's it? It's cool. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the other yeah. thing. We're, we're premiering in, in a, I think it's called Surplus yeah, yeah. Cinema. It's called uh, Friendship. Friendship, yeah. Is that what it's called? Yeah, that, that's. That's okay. you know, yeah. Friendship the cinema. That's the best. Yeah, yeah. That's the best place to premiere your film, I think. Yeah, it's, yeah. Well, makes we sense. hate each other, but that's, that's, yeah. that's, that's okay. Yeah. That's, that's what makes sense. Concerning the film, <laughs> film material, I mean. But uh, no, it's it's a cool Soviet building, and I'm very happy that we're yeah. that we're premiering there. It has character. Yeah, I'm very happy with that. So, how did this film Looted came to be? I I understand that before that you made a short film called Jacked. Yes. With the same crew, same characters not the same crew uh, main the main the lead but uh, not Charlie. the same characters either actually technically kind of kind of it's true that they 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 were they were the world is different in Luther than in Jack uh, because now uh, the main character Rob his father is dying so it, it was all much more dramatic and much more heavier than in Jack so it's in not Jack, a continuation of the story yeah oh, absolutely it, it's definitely inspired by the short it, it's again about a car thief uh, and it's again about the death of um, yeah the, in this case a relative but dealing with uh, with death so it, it it's definitely it's inspired by Jack but taken on on a, on a, on a bigger story um, a do, bit you feel, more do you feel like sorry now no, I'm no, asking yeah, you no, questions course. actually yeah, 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 yeah. But do you feel like uh, <laughs> Do you feel like um, that when you made Jack, it sort of gave you that, like obviously inspired, what I'm saying kind of makes that word mm. sense, but do you feel like you were going to make Looted and Jack actually sort of, I'm not going to say gave you the balls to do it, but, so, gave, but uh, like made you really realize that, like, oh, I can make this what I wanted to, deeper? Or did you always yeah. have it in mind? Do you know what I mean? No, like, I never had a feature in mind though. To right, be fair. okay. No, okay. Jack, Jack, because for me, I wrote the script myself and I thought it was a a perfect script for a short yeah um, you know and then going into Luther I needed I needed much more than just a scene of because you can also do repeat the scene in Jack and then yeah. make a longer film yeah but 
that didn't work because for me Jack was perfect in the sense that it was just written for it was such a cl close ending yeah, in my yeah opinion, it was like it as was. a short so yeah. now we added lots of ingredients in order to make it into a feature which means it became a much more heavy emotional dramatic yeah. journey for the character which 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 Bob's character is a very it's a tough you know, it's a, it's a, in that sense, it's a very tough character. But mm. you're, you know, dealing with a dying father is one thing, but then you're also dealing with a with a, a, a friend that is uh, turns out not to be a, as good friend as you thought, and then and then going into kind of a romantic uh, affair with with the best. I friend. I think as well it was quite a lot. Yeah, I think in Jack as well, I was my, it was quite reactive. I think in this, I've had to do, yeah. had to make decisions. It was yeah. a lot more active. Do you know what I mean? In Jack, yeah. I was taking on all of it. Yeah. Exactly, um, absorbing all the... And yeah, and yeah. kind of being quite flippant and reacting, whereas, yeah. So where does this uh, story come from? The roots of the story, so to speak. Yeah, no, when I grew up, I, it's, 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 I'm an old, I won't say autobiographical, but there's lots of elements that, that, but that would, yeah, I grew up in a neighborhood where friends of mine stole cars. So I always wanted to do a story about that. Uh, it was more for joyriding. We, we took it a bit serious, more into a serious material in, in, in terms of like they're going to sell the car. Mm. That was never the case. That was, it was more like for fun, having a little ride in a car and then just drop it kind of in the same street. Where, where did you grow up? Uh, Rotterdam. Rotterdam, okay. okay, okay. Uh, close to Rotterdam. Um, so that, and I always wanted to do a, a film about that, but I never really knew what it was and I needed an extra, an extra little element. And then when I found that, the story, you know, all the puzzles fell mm -hmm. together. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, so that it's, yeah, and then with Luther, there was another autobiographical element came in there because it was my, my, my father uh, died of asbestos cancer. So, and I spent my, this last couple of days of his life, he spent at home. So he didn't want to die in hospital, and that's exactly like in the film. You know, uh, Rob is spending the last days of, uh, of his father's life together at home. Um, yeah. So in this uh, case, you collaborated with screenwriter Kathy Chadwick. Yeah. How correct. did you collaborate, or how did it work? Yeah, I always work with a co-writer. Uh -huh. Also on Jack, and also all the other stuff that I'm doing, because I, I, I still, I always feel that somebody else can add something to the story that mm. I uh, didn't know. Like or the blind I spots see. that you yeah. have. Yeah, and it's nice to also know if I make changes to the script, if that's good or bad, to have a bit of a feedback, because sometimes with writing, it's a bit difficult to value your work. As a director, I know if something is right or wrong. Uh, and I don't have that much with writing. I can write something and the next day I don't like it. So it's nice that you have a writer that says, like, actually, that's really good. That's really yeah. strong. Or actually, Trust that yourself. I, don't, I don't think it's working. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, so it's good to have like another pair of eyes. Always, for me, for writing. Judging. Yeah, but I don't, need it with, I don't need it with directing. With directing, I'm, I'm completely fine just direct on my own. You know, but it's 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 for the writing process that I have uh, difficulties with okay. judging my own work. So Charlie, how did you prepare for the role? Or uh, uh, I I actually like I had like me and Rene had spoke about it like, a, like about a year before, so it was always kind of like on my mind. It had been the seed had been sort of planted, and then when I got the script and realised how he, like. Yeah, how heavy it was going to be if I wanted to do it justice. Emotionally, I kind of um, I think it's the first role I ever did where I really, really used my own personal life and kind of it, it sort of served a purpose for me as a human in a way because it well it made me think about a lot of stuff that I never have dared to think about. It kind of became therapy for me because I was sort of videoing myself at home talking about my own family, but then trying to inject the names of of uh, the characters in. Um, and I also just kind of, I don't know, it was kind of, um, what's the word as I'm looking for? Uh, it was just trial and error for me as an actor, but I was trying to do that by myself at home. And then when we came to shooting, it was a lot easier for me to let go of this kind of perfect idea because I thought if I've got the core of what it means and Rene wants me to change it, that's okay, because I still know what it means to me, kind of thing, you know? Like I, um, and as much as, in a way, it was good for me doing the whole changing names and stuff, because then when we actually shot it, if things had to be changed, I wasn't scared of that. I was like, yeah, let's, let's change it. This is why I think it might be good, like you were saying, as it is, saying to like, maybe trust yourself. But then if not, we would talk about it. We'd spend a good like 40 minutes before every scene 
sitting and talking yeah. as a group, which is just like yeah. such an amazing thing actually to be able to do with the DOP. And we all kind of helped each other. Really, yeah, you know? I mean, we did it a lot. Yeah, like 40 minutes before shooting, we were just mm. going through script and make changes. I think some people would, would really go paranoid. And, and the night it. before, we and would night actually, before like, well. like five in the morning, sometimes so, we just go through the thing quickly. And then we just like, okay, actually, we'd, we'd, let's do the scene a little bit different. And we kind of figured it out before we were actually going on set, on set shooting. That was actually really nice. But it became comfortable in the end that. It was scary, yeah. but it became really nice and cathartic. Yeah. So, to, you know, the acting is, is, is improvised in lots of ways, but keep things open. That was always our strategy. So, as you say, when, you, when, you're, when you're 40 minutes before shooting, you start like going through the scene and you think about changing things. You have to be open or else you, you'll get too scared. I think it was amazing, actually, that we did have the, the whole thing a year before, because in a sense, even the yeah. script itself was like set really early. So if it was adapting over that year, I still knew what Rene yeah. like, really wanted deep down, I think. <laughs> but to come back yeah. to his preparation, which is very funny because one, one, one weekend, uh, uh, there was not so much time for prepping this film. So one weekend I came over to his place uh, and Morgan uh, was there as well. And then Tom Fisher. And, and I saw his room and he had like A4s of his characterization. Yeah all scattered out over the floor, uh, hang on the wall. And it's like you're one of those psychopaths you know, <laughs> that you're watching where yes. everything is on the board, on the wall. He was doing that, like he had, he had proper detail. He's a committed actor. Very committed, like I was very, uh, very But surprised. you know, I must say the script really, and when I say trial and error, like I hadn't really gone, I'd really done that before. Like really, I guess, I don't know whether it was fear before, or I'd never had a part that was that intense and real to me. And that, I guess it was the fear of yeah. trying to play that that I was like, I need this to be like, I need to be able to see this, <laughs> like, so yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> nice. So this nice. is your first feature and you shot it in the UK, but you're from Den uh, Holland. I'm from, yeah. Holland. So how, how did that Yeah, but, well, I, I did the NYU TIS, New York University Film School. Yeah. Uh, so my whole film school experience was international. Mm -hmm. And then I got back to Amsterdam to, because I got a, a, a job there. Uh, paying my debts, obviously, because it's quite an expensive film school. Yeah. Um, but that didn't get me anywhere really in the film world, but I wanted to. Uh, so the move to London was an obvious choice because that, to me, in Europe or Paris, but Paris, I don't speak French, so that, that doesn't really, uh, that's not going to really help for me. But, but London is, for me, the center of the film industry. It's like where you have the best crew and the best actors. Um, so when I moved to, in 2013, uh, moved to London, and that's where I start writing uh, Jack, like a year later. I think in 2014 I got funding and in 2015 uh, I was able to shoot Jack. And every year, you know, I was like, you know, where, where, where I'm going to live, where I'm, where I'm going. And just London became my base. Like I just lived there since 2013, okay. uh, making films. So what was the atmosphere on the set? Yeah, laughing. Laughing. The, 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 the content is heavy and there were moments, also because Tom Fisher, the, the, the who's, who's playing the dad, Oswald. He was sometimes so real that, it, of, of course, sometimes it hit me and realized me like, oh wow, actually, you know, it's it's very very heavy stuff that we're doing. But mm. overall, maybe it's because my family is very loud. Uh, I'm very used to loud loudness, and the set was always busy. People were laughing, joking. Thomas Turkus is very energetic, very jokey all the time. And I like that. My set is never, I mean, some people like quiet sets. Uh, it's the opposite. It's like a kindergarten. Uh, no, uh, I think it was good. I think it was good that because, because it was so intense, you sort of started up here with the laughs to then bring it down <laughs> to, you know, like there was, um, there, you know, the connection of everyone, it, it made it safe to play something so serious, not too yeah. like intense, like, you know, like, we got to that naturally. Kind of yeah, thing. I yeah. Think, I think the energy you can you can see the energy in the film because that that was offset as well. Uh, so there was not something that they have to find the energy in in the scene. No, there was chemistry with the everyone. Chemi yeah. It was already there because all offset. It was already very very jokey jokey and very friendly and but because the Morgan and Charlie never met before, so everybody and this same thing. Like, we were all very we didn't know each other. Well, I did know Anders, Thomas. actually. Actually, you did. I did know Anders, he's lying. Um, and me and Thomas had been friends because of Jack of and Jack. stayed friends, actually, from then. Um, yeah, but it's nice. I, I naturally, that, that quickly goes. Um, hmm. Yeah. What are your cinematic influences? 
Oh ja, yeah, nou, I mean, I went first I did film study in, in Holland, in the University of Utrecht. So then you're exposed to the old filmmakers, the masters, and then you go to a film school, like a film film school, like anyway, you Tisch, and they love the European cinema as well. Mm. So I kind of re relived a little bit my, my, my student time in Utrecht. And that means that you watch everything from Fellini and of course Godard and Truffaut uh, and Bergman, learn from the old masters. And then, and then you slowly move a little bit into the American cinema in the 70s, where, where I quite like the 70s, they, they, they are quite raw. Mm. You know, of course you talk with the Scorsese movies. Um, but and, and, and so I, I Although I want to make contemporary films, that those films are always in the back of my mind. So when I when we're my cameraman, we're doing a, I, I make a show reel from the DOP that I kind of like. There are always references to to Antonioni, to Fellini, to Godard, to Truffaut. Uh, that's my anchor. I, and watched, then, I watched that in a half for the first time the other day. Yeah. It's pretty. Yeah. Pretty good. <laughs> yeah. No. It, 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 yeah. No, that's my my education. And of course, all contemporary work that comes in, I, I, I steal, I use. But my anchor is definitely in the, the, the 60s and the 70s filmmaking. Mm. Classics. Yeah, I think they're brilliant. I think they're really, really brilliant films. Yeah, and then of course, with Francis Ford Coppola, then you know, you're like, okay, wow. That's where I would love to land. Like when you see Inyaritu and when you see Peter mm. Anderson and yeah. then you see, uh, you know, Francis Ford Coppola, you're like, okay, these. These movies, are, these movies are not just storytelling, you're like just like a simple story and we come out like, oh yeah, that was actually really nice. They always have a couple extra layers of, of, of feeling, experience. You come out of the cinema, you're thinking, it's, art, it's artistic. Do you think, you're, do you think, that, do you think that, that, that that's because of the whole mise en scène of like the, sh the whole thing or you think there's something else there was something that in, it just in, bleeds in out? Water. And, yeah. I, in, 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 there was something in the mm. drinking water in those days because I feel really that artistically, story-wise, they were much better. In my opinion, I feel they, 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 I think they were much more original, uh, much more artistic, but in a, in a good way, not just be artifact for being artifact, you know? It's, yeah, it's, I no, it's, I, no, it's real. It's, it's to me, it real has, in the face. Exactly. It has, it has meaning what they're doing. And uh, yeah, so I, I, that's my wish, of course, to you know, keep on learning and trying to make yeah. those films. Nice. What are your next plans? Well, I, yeah, well, I wrote a short in the meantime that I got a bit of funding for, so I would love mm -hmm. to, do a, to do a short uh, before the next feature. Um, wrote a treatment, yeah. which I need to get funding for as well. well I, I tried to get funding for the treatment and then write the feature. Instead of writing the feature up front and then you have to make changes and then so six if anyone later, likes looted or jacked and you're watching this. <laughs> <laughs> uh, where actually, where can people see jacked? Yeah, that's a good one. Because um, I was trying to search for it yesterday, couldn't find it anywhere. I'll send you a link. Send, <laughs> please joking, do. I'm please do. I will, but I'm <laughs> going to answer that properly. Yeah, no, well, the, 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 the thing is that we have a bit of singing from James Blunt and they gave us the rights for a one or two year festival run. And we had to pay a, a, a little bit of a fee. And if James Blunt's watching this, <laughs> yeah, no, but right. the, and then so after two years, we, we're not allowed to show it anywhere anymore because the, 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 the agreement is only for two years festival run, and that's it. So All it's right. a shame that, that that that's the best scene of the film, in my opinion. We're well, singing. The singing is brilliant, in my opinion. It's but the anyway, And that if I take it out, that, that will be such a shame. You know, it, it's. Oh uh, yeah, I mean, yeah. So yeah, whatever. If if this ever get watched by the. The yeah. copyright owners, like, please release, and then we can show it to everyone. We think you're great, James. <laughs> no, he's great. <laughs> I, I, I really like you. I like him. Yeah, thank you so much, guys. Thanks. I really enjoyed the film, Good. and I hope everybody will watch it. Everybody. Everybody. Everyone. Oh, the okay. whole world. Yeah. 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 So thank you very much, and okay. good luck for your uh, premiere. Also. Yeah. Thank you very much. Nice. Thanks, guys. Thank Cheers. Thank you enjoyed, very much. Enjoyed it. Yeah, Thanks. Alrighty. Minuga olid saates filmi rüüstatud režissör René Panevis ja filmi peaosa täitja Charlie Palmer Rothwell. Ja ma soovitan seda kindlasti sojad kõikidel vaatavad minna, see on väga hea film. Ja see on kõik.